Oh, before I forget, the wife listens to her favorite radio station around this time. Don't want to know the old goat. Better keep the door closed if that's all right with you. Sure, man. All right, let's get to it. Click. Now you're stuck in here forever. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I was just joking. Kick. Shining a bright red as always is I, Red Luster, and Max in the Cannibal Abduction. Hello. I uh, guess we'll go default? I guess so. I've never played this game, so I'm going to play on the recommended difficulty. Also, I love this screen static effect. It's like an old TV show. Or movie. Man, I've been needing this for so long. How can Pop you see? Even notice. Too busy on the bottle, as usual. Especially what? when your windows are pissed tinted. Hell yes! <laughs> Just the road and I. What road? You can't see! <laughs> it's been a while what? since I cleaned my car. No, 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 baby, don't do this to me now! Shit! Maybe you uh, should let her cool down. Great. What a day to end up stranded, huh? Oh, thank God. Could I get a lift? This heap of junk just died on me. Sure thing, son. But I wouldn't leave your vehicle out here. That's asking for trouble. My home's just over yonder, and lucky for you, this old man's a mechanic. We could tow her to my garage. Would you? Mighty kind of you, sir. Grab some rope and... Tied good and tied to the truck now. Rope? Rope? Bombs? Wait, why are we in the middle of nowhere? And the courage the cowardly dog. The Chuck of arms, son. Must be pretty boring around these parts. <laughs> you would be surprised. Some things happen out here folks wouldn't believe. Alright, let's pop the hood and take a gander. That does look like the house in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy. The engine's in a right mess. Pop's gonna kill my ass. Don't worry yourself now. Hmm, I'll make you an offer. I see you got a toolbox in your back seat. The old lady's been bugging me to fix an old wardrobe for weeks, but the garage has me busy as a cat on a hot tin roof. You ain't no mechanic, that's for sure. You a carpenter by trade? My pop's profession. I know my way around to hammer and nail. Sounds like we have a deal. Come, let's get inside. You see, if you work my wood, I'll work your metal. Well, why I gotta say it like that? Make it weird. You. <laughs> so, is this the wardrobe? It sure is. Should be easy work for you, right? I reckon I'll have this done in an hour. <laughs> there the boy. I'll get to fixing your vehicle. It'll run better than ever. Oh, before I forget, the wife listens to her favorite radio station around this time. Don't want to annoy the old goat. Better keep the door closed if that's all right with you. Sure, man. All right, let's get to it. Click. Now you're stuck in here forever. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> Dang Granny locked us in here. The job is almost done. Man, it's getting dark here. Is this old house have electricity or even lights? Unless the farmer has something like this place, otherwise I can't finish. Control Henry. Oh no. Oh, oh you can moonwalk. <laughs> It's tank controls. Hey, I mean, we played Alyssa. Oh, strange. The door is locked. Anybody there? Nobody answers. I think I might have something to open up with my toy. Yeah, we'll immediately get to breaking this door open. How about this door? Is there anything in here I can use? This door is stuck. All right then, la di da. Uh, oh. At least we played Alyssa, so we're good at tank controls already. Uh. Ooh. <laughs> Vital signs, good. 
<laughs> in his face. <laughs> what is this, Resident <laughs> Evil? <laughs> he's Wesker. Look at it. He's Wesker Jr. Okay. Um, how do I okay, escape? My father's a carpenter by trade, and also tried to take over the world once. He kept saying something about Ouroboros. And that's nice, Dad. Wow, what a meticulously shiny object. I wonder what it could be. It looks like a flashlight. The crypto flashlight to reveal items to be grabbed. Keep in mind that Henry is easier to notice, but the flashlight is on. Well, that makes sense. Okay, I gotta go in my inventory to... Oh. Oh, I can also just toggle it with a uh, right click. That's handy. That's handy, yeah. Your mother and I are living for town. We'll be back later tonight. Great news, I have found a young stray locked in Fred's room. Take care of it as soon as possible. Don't play with the food. Excuse me? You locked me in that bedroom on purpose. Don't play with the food. What are those hell are those weirdos talking about? Seems like I'm alone for now, but I don't have much time. I must get the ant eh out of here. I like my past that minute where you can swear. Max, I don't swear. It's locked. Mud what? What? What about mud? That's not what I said at all, but okay. I heard mud. Okay, well, you got the M part right. The knob is missing! Not the knob. I don't need a key for that. The master of lockpicking, eh? Here, here's a lockpick. You'll need it to pick a lock. <laughs> well, apparently ours immediately broke after we picked the first lock. Seems like this glass is armored. I gotta hurry up, it's getting darker outside. How do you armor glass? I think he means it's reinforced. That's what he should have said, not armored. Well, maybe it's a translation. <laughs> Why are you telling me how to run? Don't worry, we're in good old America. This is the entrance door. It's locked. <laughs> I didn't I even read it. I was like, I already know it's locked. I'm just going to say it's locked. Look, we played Granny before we know how this works. Did you do that automatically, or are you doing that? Nothing useful. He was doing that automatically. Okay, so we don't have to individually look oh. through every... Hate it. What's that? Hate this angle, hate this room. Not a big fan of it myself, here. Maybe there's something here. Hmm? Oh no. Nothing useful. Can we read the note? Nope. Unless we have the flashlight on, I guess. Come on, left the TV on. I guess there is electricity here. A brand new VHS tape! Use the VHS to, uh, to save the game. Okay, so these are basically just our ink cartridges. Yep. Because, uh, Henry won't be able to say there's a threat nearby. I need to record my progress. I need to save every season of Friends! No! <laughs> Out of everything, why that? Oh, no. Friends, but I removed the laugh track. <laughs> You know, that toolbox only had a bobby pin in it, yet I recall distinctly having a ha hammer up there. Why'd you freeze? Because when I heard something creak. Oh, it is an old house. Yes, oh, Max, you're very observant. Eh. The kitchen? Oh. Wait, if they're cannibals, and if this is the kitchen, what's in the fridge? I'm not opening that fridge! He already knows! He knows, he already knows! Who's playing guitar? It's the radio. Oh. That's right, the old man said the girl likes to listen to her radio. Oh yeah, his wife. 
It's locked. With a common key. Weird they has to specify that. Rusty but still works. Water won't come out. Is there no knife? I don't think that's a knife. I was saying there is no knife. Oh. I mean, there was something on the counter. I don't know what the hell it was. Oh. Another note? February 3rd, before going to bed last night, I found Aunt Mary sitting by her living room with the radio alone. She was staring at the radio with a blank look on her face, turned the dial over and over like she was trying to find a specific frequency. When I told her goodnight, she ignored me as if she was lost in her own little world. Uncle Bob told me she'd been up all night. Maybe I should ask her about it. Uh, February 4th, I can't help but ask Aunt Mary why she was up so late. As she opened her mouth to speak, she became overjoyed and giddy like a child. She told me, I finally did it. It's the radio, you see. I can connect to it with the radio. It talks to me. When I asked her who it was, her sweet, joyful smile faded to that blank stare I saw last night returned. Like her soul got sucked out of her body all of a sudden. I left the room and both ignored each other for the rest of the day. I'm starting to really worry about her. I think she needs to see a doctor. So Pennywise is taking her over. Not <laughs> it. That's all we got. It was it. Oh. Oh, we can actually ignore it with it. I don't know what frequency I need, so I'm not going to touch it yet. Probably a good idea. Don't want to make the old lady angry. Wherever she is. Well, she's not in the bathroom, thankfully. <laughs> Naked grandma! Naked, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny shit on there. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to see that either. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see that. The door is locked. Unlock. Oh. Oh, handy. Oh. Okay, so we got two doors leading to the bathroom. Oh, so I've never in my life ever come across a bathroom with two doors. Really? Never. I don't think I have either. It's the most bizarre thing. I only ever see it in video games, too. Oh, wait, I have seen one. It was at a workplace, though. I mean, does that really count? I mean, I guess. Because it, like it was like a school, kind of. Yeah, but... Okay, I wonder if I have my light on. I'll have better luck if I... Oh, never mind. Huh. Okay, well, so I, I don't need my light on to search the cabinets. Well, there was a note in the other one. I don't know if that matters. The door's locked from the other side. Unless you want to get every note in this game. I don't care for the notes. No lore. And besides, he won't, he won't search the cabinet again now that I've searched it. Really? Even if you had... I uh, don't I guess. Never mind. Do we still have the lockpick? No. Oh. Just got the flashlight and, uh... A book? Oh. Fred's diary. Okay, so... Yeah, that's... That just keeps track of all the notes we found. Okay, hi, duty. Oh, I'm so glad Lil Dude's joined us. I'm just kind of huffing on the couch a bit. The dirt looks human, and overall the plant's in pretty good shape. That's surprising uh, considering how dark this frickin' room is. Ah, uh, good. The cannibals keep their plants good. Well, we already checked the bathroom. Was there anything in the sink? Water won't come out. I'm over the tub. Plunger? No. Care to take a wee? <laughs> Damn. Well, he ain't wrong. I <laughs> uh, love it. Did we check the tub? Uh, oh. Magazine. magazine. Pizza. Pizza. What? Bandage. Band oh, I guess in case we get injured. Great. I'm so looking forward to when that happens. Oh. 
The water stinks. We found a key. Looks like a key. Bronze key. Hello? Oh no, someone's in the house with us now. Where I think there was already something in there. I don't know, I don't want to check it out. I think someone else could be in the house. Well, it sounded like it came from the living room. So let's go in that direction. Oh, I don't see anyone. Oh, I need a hammer, right. Oh, there's a hammer upstairs. We were... They hammering. I thought it was, but I couldn't see it up there. It was kind of hard to see. Well, we got a flashlight now, so maybe we can find it. Please tell me that's just the cat purring. Yes. I just hear. Dude's kind of purring next to me, and I thought I heard someone squishing. Honestly, I'm terrified because how quiet it is. Should we go back and listen to some tunes? There it is. Ah. My father's hammer. Can we protect ourselves with it? Max is a horror game. What do you think? <laughs> of course I not. I can't use it here. And this door is stuck, so I can't open it, period. I wonder if that toolbox has unlimited lockpicks. It does not. No, nope, this is literally just a storage bucket. Well, at least we can store stuff in there. Grand, it means I have a limited inventory. I mean, that's most survival horror games. If not all. Fair. That one's missing a knob. Right. And this one... It has a good lock and won't be able to lockpick it. What about our bronze key? What? Oh, cool. While well, hidden. Where can we hide? Well, apparently I can only pause on hiding. It's a gorgeous lockbox. There's a socket that opens it. I wonder if there's something around that could fit. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, that's bright! Ah, ah. <laughs> Give me your money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's how you... I... That's how you pause. <laughs> yeah, you have to be in a hiding spot to pause. Be sure you have your sunglasses on. Oh, hello. Beth. Another bobby pin. Nice. I could unboard this. Is the hammer one-time use? I mean, it looks like a good hammer. That That's... has no noise. I was going to say, that is the quietest nail removal I've ever heard. Do we still have the hammer? Oh. Yes. We do. So, can we just hide in all, like, closets? Or, or is it just that one? Well, so far, in that's the, the only closet we can open. Well, that one in the room we were, like, fixing the floor in. We're not fixing the floor, we were fixing the cabinet. We never finished. Oh. Oh, so I see that. See what? Bottom drawer. Ah. Oh. A VHS tape. My pockets, pockets are full! Well... At least we know where a save is. True. Is 
do do do. Um, In the middle of nowhere. I'm being so cautious because I hear every little noise and it makes me very anxious. Yeah, I can't blame you because there's no music. Can we run? Yes. Oh. Um, where did I need a bob pit again? I think that door back there. Shove it in there. Fireplace. May 13th. I was playing with Daisy today. She's the only member of the family I can trust. She was so happy wagging her tail and playing with her toys gave me comfort. I've not felt oh, she's a dog. long time. She reminded me of things were normal. But something's not right with her. It's her breath. She licked my chin. The stench really made me throw up. What in the hell they've been feeding her? Doesn't even smell like dog food. May 20th. I'm getting the hell out of this house. I can't recognize my family anymore. I can't. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. A blood-soaked bandage dropped around their arms, resting on a table with the blood still wet. They cut off their own freaking arms. Uncle Bob grabbed my arm and placed the cleaver into my hand. He sat back down and he all looked at me. He asked me if I wanted to do it too. I threw the cleaver on the table and ran up to my room. I have all my bags packed now, and I'm ready to leave this hell hole. Uncle Bob, Aunt Mary, Philip, I promise I'll be back with help. Please be safe, Daisy. You didn't take the dog with you? Good point, but I guess he was in a rush. Oh! Two, two, oh, there's Daisy. She's growling, she's growling. Bad dog. She don't like us. Another safe thing. Okay, so the dog gonna growl at us, obviously. The door is locked. I locked it. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's go save. Yes. She has something around her neck. I thought that was a chainsaw for a moment. What do you mean you can't use this here? Oh, you just weren't close enough at the VHS. Oh. Player. Man, the fact nothing has happened yet is making things so much worse. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda... It's kind of hair tensing a bit. Oh wait, there's a, isn't that other door back there blocked up by wood? Oh yeah, where? Next to the bathroom door. Right. Like. I almost forgot about that. I could be wrong. Nope. No, okay. Well, I'm trying to remove these nails. As Very quietly good. as possible. Don't want to make too much noise. So far, pretty good game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no, the stack got... Is it getting worse? Yeah, it's getting worse. Oh! oh. Okay, so we know when an enemy is coming, the stat gets worse. I still feel like he's close by. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I can't tell if the game's glitching out too. Oh. Uh. Huh. Okay, that. Okay, so. Like... Okay, so we have an indicator. Okay, yeah. 
There we go. April 14th. Aunt Mary and Uncle Bob won't be back from their trip until tomorrow. Philip shouldn't be a problem. Almost every day when the clock strikes 8.45 p.m., Philip goes to the basement. We won't see him till the next day. He's been doing this for weeks. I'm counting on him doing it again today. I'll update later if I find anything. Update. As soon as I heard the basement door shut, I rushed to the radio. Wasn't sure what I was looking for, but I started twisting the dial, just like Aunt Mary did last night. I can't fully explain what I found, but some channels had strange sounds I've never heard before. It sounded like some kind of animal singing? Humming? They kept repeating the same three patterns in the same order. I could tell because each pattern had a distinct tone and length. Is this the it my family talks about? This makes no sense. I can't hear it say anything. I just don't understand any of this. Okay, so it's not just the grandma or the aunt or whatever hearing this. It. Whatever it is, it's on the radio frequencies. Yeah. Alright, where to now? I guess we may have to mess with the radio. I guess. Find whatever it is. Max, are you making those noises? Yeah, that was me, my bad. Man, I'm listening so carefully, I hear thunk, thunk. That was, that's the remote to my fan light thing. Is that the original channel? Yeah. Is that it? It's really it sounds quiet. like it. it. Sounds like a. Sounds like a mess. I don't like it. I don't like it either, dear. Another one? Sounds like it. Is it saying anything? No. That's where I gotta keep going up. Okay, that time I heard something. What's the point of this? I guess to find whatever it is. I'm hoping it gives us like 
something for finding it. Hmm. I guess we should leave a... Maybe we just leave it on one of the channels and it'll start saying something. Maybe. I guess put it on the first one you found it on. Use one of these. Sounds like it's underwater. Kind of, yeah. Okay, so you don't want to open the fridge? No. I'm not opening that. Because he knows what's in there. Hmm. What that door over there? I forgot about that door. Mm, I wish it stayed forgotten. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we found the basement. Oh, we found something. Key. A common key. There's the water. The water's not flowing. Need a valve to restore the flow. Thanks, coach. Oh, you're making a Valve game reference. Yeah, it, I think that's coach, right? The one with the Valve in the back is it? I don't, I don't know. It's never specified who the Valve guy is. Well, the first one has the dude in his eyeball. Well, actually, no, there's the old, like, golden source one where he, like, presses a valve on, next to his head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need to be scarce. I think there's a place we can hide in. I kind of wonder, is this guy actually actively wandering, or does he only spawn when I go to places of importance? I think I hear him opening the doors once in a while. But he probably is scripted to go to places of importance. Well, I do have a new key. Where do I go now? I guess we open one of those, uh... Vault... Vaults? Little, little, little cabinets or whatever they are. I don't know where those are. I think there was one in the kitchen, right? I don't know. No, that's where the dog. This is the dog room. Yeah, this is the dog room. This is the hall. I think there was one in the. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so he is roaming. Uh oh. Where? I guess downstairs. I don't mean to snide you, Max, but that's kind of vague. Well, that's where it was sandicking before, downstairs. Yeah, that thing right there. Right, I almost forgot we could open this.
Oh, what There's is that? There's a jug. jug. Wait, I think there was one one more thing we can open with it. Oh, this could oh this could open most of the locked cabinets and counters. Was any of the counters locked? I don't remember. Should we check them? Wh which one? Uh, maybe the ones next to the stove. What the hell? That's a freaking arm. I'm not it touching it. Come on, give him a hand! Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be using it anymore anyway. Just, just laugh. Please laugh. <laughs> not you. Oh. No, I'm, I'm like the... I'm the 80s laugh trick. I was just saying that to the audience. Is he upstairs? He's upstairs, I think. No, okay. I don't know, it got real staticky. Let me show the bandages in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we need the hammer anymore? I don't think so. At least not at this moment. No, I haven't seen any more bored up things, so. Yeah. We'll if we a... do, we know where it is. Yeah, it makes sense. Wasn't there a locked cabinet in the room next door? I don't know. But we'll go through this room. How long have we been recording? I don't know, but I haven't found a VHS tape in a hot minute either. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Where? Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, he's hi. Hi. Bad, dude. Oh, whoa. Nice head. Man, this is the goofiest run I've ever seen. <laughs> so what was that noise? Excuse me, dog. You won't find us in here. Good. Did you know, just hang on here for a minute. <laughs> so, uh, you know, how's the weather, Max? Uh, sweaty. Really? <laughs> yeah. Tell me more. Uh, you know, uh, very hot and humid, like summer is mostly. Uh. No one, does anyone really like summer? Um, I don't think anyone really likes summer. People that live in cold places like summer. <laughs> Tell you. No. It gets. Max, I remember it got 110 <laughs> degrees over here once. Yeah, but you usually complain that you're cold. Yeah, but that's just because our winters are cold and our summers are balls hot. I think that's most places, unless you're an Australian. Sorry, <laughs> Australia. It wish is just hot, 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 hot. It's like that one meme of, you know, summer is just like four suns. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, sorry, Australia, we kind of fucked you over in the, uh, well, everything. Not like we did anything. No, but humanity in general. Oh, God, yeah, Judd. We, we uh, kind of messed up the, kind of still messing up, the, you know, our polar ice caps and all that. Also, oh, where else did I need to go? Thing? There was one upstairs, right? Oh, right, Before. we got interrupted. Yeah, big man. Big man with cloth head. It was kind of slow, so that's good. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was a little, uh, all this anxiety kind of melted when I realized how unthreatening he kind of seems to be. I guess because he's big. Yeah, so, uh, not as scared as I was before. Then again, he could be not the only threat. Oh yeah, because there's a family here. Alright. Uh... Wasn't there... Oh, next to the nightstand? Oh wait, no, I need a handle. That's a lockbox. Alright. I need some kind of... magical... peg or something. Ah, a bloody apron. I didn't oh, even know this no. was here. 
February 12th, Uncle Bob was washing his truck in our backyard yesterday, which is strange as he usually gets it waxed and washed out in town. While I looked closer, it became clear why. The front of the vehicle was a complete mess. The front bumper was hanging off. The radiator grill had some major denting, and to top it off, both were covered in blood and looked like small chunks of uh, something in the gaps. Uncle Bob would complain for days if his truck gets even a scratch on it, but he never mentioned it even once, and no one in the family brought it up during dinner. February 25th. This crap ain't funny anymore. I was bringing the laundry basket down to the basement to load the washing machine, and I noticed the entry to the laundry room had blocked out by a bookshelf, and the washing machine was disconnected. When I tried to push the bookshelf to the side, it wouldn't budge an inch. I politely asked anyone for a reason that all they do is ignore me. Every day they ignore me. It's been weeks of this silent treatment crap. Is this some kind of sick joke I don't know about? March 3rd. I've forgotten the last time I've gotten a good night's sleep. I hear the radio almost every night now. Usually everyone goes around to listen until the early hours of the morning. I snuck down to get a peek at them, but as I got closer, I found myself stepping on a loose floorboard. Suddenly their hands turned and looked at me at the same time like a pack of wolves spotting their next prey. They all invited me to join them as I stood frozen in fear. I was shaking so bad that I managed to refuse them and go back to bed. What is happening to my family? I'm not going crazy. Something is wrong with them. First was Aunt Mary. Now everyone has lost their fracking minds. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I fear what will happen they catch me snooping around, but I gotta try something. I just need to wait for the right time. Well, that was not informative. No, he told us there's a bookshelf down there blocking something. Well, I mean, we kind of knew that. Right, can't open that at all. Hmm. That jug, but what for? I mean, there's got to be something else I can open, because, uh... Isn't there water dripping downstairs? Uh oh Uh-oh. Okay, so... Can it attack? I don't know where he is, and I'm scared, da da da. It's a picture of Johnny Boy. I remember watching him live with the crickets when I was younger. Hmm. Well, there was some water. The fireplace lights the room extremely bright. There's a suspicious loose brick, but I can't... Okay, now I see what I need the water for. Oh, okay, so... There was water dripping downstairs from the wow thing. Yep, that's, uh... I hope I can get water from that, but it did say I need a valve to open it. Water is not flowing. I need a valve to store the flow. Can't use that here. I know it would take a while to drip feed into the jug, but... Gosh darn it, you could just do that. Okay, so... We need a valve. I think one of the things I'm thinking of probably has it. It has to be another one, right? There has to be some place we haven't looked yet. And the dog has something around his neck, but it keeps growling at us. Also, I think there's something wrong with it. Oh yeah, he got something, alright. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna let us grab it. Well, if I go really slowly. No, he's still just growling at us. I think we have to knock him out or something. Oh, idea. Yeah, yeah. Need to get back to the kitchen. Now 
Now, I know we wouldn't pick it up earlier, but how about now? That's a freaking arm. I'm not touching it. Why not? All right, can mm. we check the fridge? No, he's not going to check that. Because, you know, he probably assumes there's going to be a lot of bodies in there. Yeah, I just, I thought we could distract the dog with, like, you know, a hunk of meat. I understand that. The radio's still talking. Still making noise. Uh -oh. Meaningless noise. Oh wait, wasn't there one in there? What? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, right. I almost forgot about this. I forgot about this room. Mostly because we hid in it, and that was almost the only thing we did with this room. What was that? What are we A can of dog oh. food! Well, we found something to get that dog to calm about. Can we open it, though? Oh, we just got a label on Daisy. Okay, I guess we just give her the food. Uh, how long have we been recording? Good question. Almost an hour. Uh, maybe we should... Okay, I got an idea. We can hide in that locker and then stop. Okay. Ah! Blue flashbang. Yeah. Uh, alright, Max, what's your daily wisdom? Uh, don't... I guess don't accept help from random strangers. Don't let a stranger close a door behind you. That should be the biggest red flag. I'm here because he was nailing. I mean, that's fair, but you said he was going to close the door because the woman wants to radio. I was like, I'm sorry, I'm in a stranger's house. I'm not going to let you close a door behind me. Fair. It's a good thing we had that bobby pin, or else we never would have gotten out of there. True. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video for now. This has been Red Luster, signing out. Bye-bye.